Okay, we're back in this uh, 2008 uh, Nissan Quest, and you know we had no spark, and we had uh, engine cranks but no start. So we changed that crank sensor. That was a lazy way to do it. I should have gone through all the testing, and of course, same thing when the crank sensor was was in. But do you remember? security light that was on. So what we did was found the other key to the car and it has a key fob on it for the alarm system which the second key did not have, the one that we had. And we cycled the doors, we closed the doors, cycled the door locks on, uh, up and locked five times. And then after the fifth time, unlocked the door and the car started right up. So, this is just a reminder, when you see that security light, something's going on. So if you've got a security light that flashes when you put the key in on the Nissan Quest, you need to cycle the alarm system on and off five times to clear it out, and you should be good to go. So, that takes care of the cranks no start. This is the final end on that video. Uh, we do have a service engine light on, and we're gonna, we're gonna try out a tool that we just got to see, uh, see how that works in the next video. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video, and click the notification bell if you want to see the next video I put out. And anything that we use in this video, I'll put a link for it in the description. And I'm also going to put a real nice description uh, with step-by-step -step instructions uh, that I borrowed off the internet uh, for diagnosing the crank no start on a Nissan. So, thanks for watching. This is Richard Ray. See you on the next video.